guys, how are you today? It's time for this week's new in makeup and I did actually have a different shirt on that matched my makeup a little bit better, but my son was eating a lollipop. He came at me with his sticky fingers. They got all over my shirt, hence a different shirt that doesn't really go with this makeup. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys are excited about new in makeup, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And I do make these videos every single week. So if you guys want to see these type of videos every week, then please subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Before we get started, you guys, in the last video that I did like this, I talked about wanting to get the bomb bronzers and I actually was lucky enough. They were so kind to send me all three bronzers. So I am actually going to be doing a review of this. And in that review, they gave me three extras. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway for you guys as well. Super, super exciting. So if you guys want to see that and get a chance to win all of those bronzers, stick around for that one. It'll be coming later this week. Okay. For this week's new in makeup, the first thing that I want to talk about is actually not really a makeup item. It's like a makeup tool still has to do with makeup, but it's actually a mixing palette from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here for you guys to see. So this is only going to be $2 and what you can do is you can slip it onto your hand and then mix anything that you want to mix in it. I think that's really exciting because I've wanted something like this because I love mixing foundations together and you can mix foundations, you can mix, mix different lip products, different things like that. And it's only $2. So I think that's a really good deal. I think if you're just kind of already shopping on e.l.f.'s website, this would be a good little add-on item. So this is one that I'm actually really excited for and I'll probably end up picking it up next time I'm shopping on their website. Okay, the next one, we're going from $2 to $128. This is the new palette from Nat Natasha Denona. Oh, sorry, it's $129. Let's not forget that extra dollar in there. Um, and it's called the Tropics palette. Oh, you guys. Okay, so here's the thing. I've been wanting to try their shadows for the longest time, and I'm kind of waiting for them to come out with a really, really exciting palette to buy that one because they are really expensive. $129 for an eyeshadow palette. And that's a lot of money. So I wanted to wait for a nice one to come out. And when I saw that bottom row, I was like, oh, okay, that's really pretty. This might be the palette. But then I saw the full palette and I'm underwhelmed. So there's a lot of neutrals in there. I honestly wouldn't mind if they had done maybe one row of neutrals and then two rows of some fun colorful shades. I feel like, okay, here's the thing. I feel like if you're going to spend this much money for an eyeshadow palette, it better be unique, right? I don't know. Do you guys agree with that? I feel like there better be something incredibly unique about the color selection in that palette for me to spend $129. And those first two rows we see in every single palette that comes out. Okay, not every, I'm, I'm being a little dramatic, not every palette, but so many palettes already have these shades that I'm, I'm not going to waste my money on it. And I wish they had done at least one more row of color and then I might have been a little bit more excited about it. Even with one row of neutrals, I might have been a little bit more excited for this one. But I, I do think that bottom row is stunning and I would have loved to try just that row. <laughs> but I'm not gonna pay $129 just for that one row of shadows, not happening. Okay, have you guys heard of the brand Koki? I think it's a little bit of a newer brand. They sell it at Walmart and then I've also seen it at Meijer and then of course online. But they're coming out with these new palettes called the Artist Palettes. Okay, these I think are stunning. So I follow them on Instagram and all it says here is that it'll be available next month. So March sometime. And they're actually coming out with three palettes. They have the Treasured Palette, which I'll go ahead and put up here. This one looks beautiful. I love that yellow. I love that blue. The green, really, really beautiful. And this is an affordable makeup brand, you guys. So this probably won't be very expensive. So I think for the price, if it's like $15 or less, it's going to be worth the price. Those are really beautiful. And then we've got Peachy Queen. Beautiful, beautiful as well. It's got those peach and pink colors that a lot of us really love. And again, it's probably going to be really affordable. So for a palette like that to be coming out of the drugstore, yes, yes, please. I'm excited. And then we have Utopia coming from them as well, which is this one right here. Look at that teal blue color. Yes, please. I actually wish they had put that teal one in the treasured palette because I just want it for that one color and that's kind of silly. But honestly, a lot of the colors are really pretty. This one's a little bit, I think, softer than the other ones, minus that really bright pop of blue. It's a little bit softer, but I think I want to try all of these, you guys, or at least two of them. 
at least. These shadows have me excited. I want to try now like multiple things from the brand just because of these shadow palettes. So again, those will be available. I can't talk. <laughs> those will be available in March. <laughs> Okay, Makeup Revolution is coming out with some new stick foundations. These are gonna be five pounds. I don't know what that converts to in dollars, but I know it's under $10. <laughs> so that's a really, really, really good deal. And they're coming out with 18 shades, which is pretty good. It's not the best, but as we learned from Tarte, it's also not the worst. <laughs> so this one I'm actually intrigued by. I have not tried a drugstore foundation stick before, and I'm intrigued to see how this works. Now these typically tend to work better for people with oily skin. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I have dry skin, so these might not work for me, but some foundation sticks that I've tried have worked okay, so I'm still interested, especially if I use them with an oil or something. I want to try these. If you're not in the U.S., you'll be able to get these already in February and March, but if you are in the U.S., they'll be sold at Ulta in April. So we've still got a little while to go, but these are out there, and I'm actually... I'm pretty excited for these. Okay, Pure Cosmetics came out with this four-in-one blush book. These look stunning. These look beautiful. Yes, please. <laughs> so it's $36. It's already available at Ulta, but I love that peachy toned color. That is beautiful, and it looks like you're going to get a nice little glow with these blushes. I like all of them except for the one up in the top right corner. Or no, top left corner. That one I don't think will look good on me, but all the other ones I actually do think would work for me. So this is one that I'm excited for, and it looks like you'll be able to take the, the blushes out of the, the pans, <laughs> take them out of the palette. So you could also kind of mix and match, it looks like. I don't know. That's really interesting. I think these look beautiful. I'm excited to try these. And again, $36. They're already available. You get four blushes. I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, guys, the last thing I just wanted to mention quickly is not a new makeup release, but I saw on Trend Mood 1 that Makeup Geek is going to be coming into stores. That is exciting. So everyone's kind of talking about where do we think they're going to be going? Is it Ulta? Is it Sephora? Is it somewhere else? I have to say, I hope they go to Ulta. I do shop at Sephora more often just because it's on my side of town. It's closer to me. But I feel like Makeup Geek kind of belongs in an Ulta. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think they belong at an Ulta? Do you think they belong at Sephora? Or do you think they belong somewhere else completely? I think price-wise, I've always thought that Makeup Geek should be an Ulta. Always. Because Ulta does have the drugstore and high-end prices. And Makeup Geek, to me, is kind of somewhere in the middle of that. I think they are a great company. They usually come out with really beautiful products so i'm excited to see them in stores and i'm hoping that i can go into a store and swatch a bunch of products you know and actually try them out in person before buying i think that's really exciting so congrats to makeup geek and i can't wait to find out where they're going let me know down below where you guys think they're gonna go all right that's it for new and makeup this week let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye